Hello and welcome back once again to the Wrestling Rant. Uh, Smackdown spoilers are going up a little late again. And I, po I apologize for that. Um, I got kind of busy doing some things that are a little bit more fun. I hate to say that, but this thing is just really not... Uh, it's just not doing it for me that much. Anyways... So this is going to be going up early Friday morning, as opposed to, like, Tuesday or Wednesday. Anyways, who really cares? The SmackDown spoilers for July 4th, the 4th of July, Independence Day, 2014, from somewhere in New Jersey. I couldn't find an exact uh, city, but the notes that I saw, which again come from NoDQ.com, big shout out to those guys, uh, the notes that I found mentioned something about the Jersey crowd, which we'll get to. But anyways, the show starts with Seth Rollins, I guess he's talking, uh, cutting a promo, whatever the fuck. He gets attacked by Dean Ambrose, of course. Randy Orton comes out for the save on for Seth for Seth Rollins, and until Roman Reigns comes out to even the odds, and it ends up looking like we're going to have a tag team match for the main event of the show. That's the end of the first segment. Uh, up next, we get Big E defeating Cesaro by countout. And a little minor note, uh, backstage report says the odds-on favorite for uh, the person to win the Intercontinental Title Battle Royal at Battleground is going to be Cesaro. So, take that however you will. Either way, up next, Sheamus defends his U.S. title against Alberto Del Rio successfully. So, uh, Sheamus wins. Uh, I'm going to guess he won with a brogue kick. It just said he defeated Del Rio. So, whatever the fuck. Up next, out comes Chris Jericho. And he cuts a promo taunting Bray Wyatt. The Miz interrupts, but ends up taking another code breaker. And that's pretty much it for that segment. So they're just continuing to make The Miz look like shit, and they're continuing to push this feud between Jericho and Bray. Whatever. And here's where the uh, Jersey thing came up. Our new Divas Champion, AJ Lee, comes out to a massive pop from the Jersey crowd. She cuts a promo, didn't go into specifics what it was about. After that, she defeats Eva Marie by submission, I'm going to guess with the Black Widow. And, let's see, fans chanted, you can't wrestle at Eva Marie. They also ch chanted CM Punk. And during the match, Paige was on commentary. And then afterwards, she came into the ring to congratulate AJ before awkwardly leaving. And it was also said that AJ played the babyface here. So, yeah, it was kind of strange. I don't know if I mentioned this in my Raw video, but... Uh, when I was watching the match between AJ and Paige, it almost seemed like they were trying to turn Paige heel. I think I did mention this, but Paige, I think it was right before the finish, uh, Paige grabbed AJ by the hair and screamed at her, This is my house now! And that was right before AJ slapped the shit out of her and then cinched her up in the small package for the 1-2-3. So... Yeah, it seems like they're going to try to turn Paige heel, and they're going to try to turn AJ back into a face. 
finally, because honestly, I hate her being a heel. Anyways, that's the end of that segment. Up next, we get another joke segment with Damien Sandow, although it goes a little bit further than that. Sandow comes out dressed as Bruce Springsteen, in a reference that about half the crowd won't get because about half the crowd are fucking kids who don't know who the hell Bruce Springsteen is because he's way, way before their time. You probably say, well, this is mommy and daddy music. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Sandow comes out as Bruce Springsteen and he sings Born in the USA, which was one of Springsteen's songs. Of course, what do you think's gonna happen? Rusev and Lana come out, interrupting, and Lana cuts an anti-America 4th of July promo, which is then interrupted by Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter, who come out interrupting to a big pop. Zeb jokes on Russia, and the crowd was said to be very much into this. There were loud USA and We the People chants. So, yeah. And that was it for that segment. I'm going to guess Sandow just kind of fucked off after Rusev and Lana came out. He's probably like, well, that's all they asked me to do. I'm going to go have a coffee. I'll see you guys later. Ugh. <laughs> Finally, we get the main event of the show, which is not a tag team match for some reason, because it might as well have been. The main event was supposed to be Randy Orton versus Dean Ambrose one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Rollins interferes, hitting Ambrose with his Money in the Bank briefcase. And then Orton and Rollins beat down Ambrose until Roman Reigns makes the save and Reigns hits Orton with the Superman punch to end the show. So yeah, that's it for SmackDown. Show doesn't sound all that great, doesn't even sound all that long either, unless these matches were fucking long, I don't know. Let's see, what was there? There was Biggie and Cesaro, Sheamus and Del Rio, uh, AJ and Eva Marie, and then Orton and Ambrose. So there's like five matches, or maybe not even five, more like four. I think it's four. Four matches, and that's it. For a two-hour show. Those talking segments must have been fucking long. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Uh, really not much to say. Like I said, this show didn't sound, doesn't sound all that great. Oh well, um, that'll do it for the SmackDown spoilers. As I said, the 4th of July episode, July 4th, 2014, somewhere in New Jersey. It didn't specify where. Thank you for watching, and again, I apologize for getting this up so late. I was busy playing GTA Online. Because that's more fun for me right now. Anyways, I think I'm going to get back to that. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for Raw next Monday. Because that'll be the next video. Uh, there's no... Well, we just had the freaking Money in the Bank pay-per-view, so we're not going to have another one just yet. Battleground is still a couple of weeks away. We gotta sit through some build for that shit. Ah, boy. Anyways, thank you for watching. Join us next Monday for Raw. And we will see you then for that. So, good night.